Understanding level properties. Here we have some typical levels. We'll start at the bottom. This is bottom of footing. This is the top of the footing. Top of the slab. Top of the foundation wall. Here Revit will call it level 1, level 2, level 3. Typically we'll name that first floor, second floor, third floor. At the very top we'll have one that will say roof typically. So that's how we basically set them up. Here we go into Revit and let's go into an elevation view. An elevation view is looking at the building from its side. I'll pick any one of the elevations. I'm in a standard template right now. And here we have some levels. And let's take a look at these levels. So actually this is called the level name or it's just level one. Uh, this is called the level bubble. This little uh, circle with the two filled in uh, wedges are filled in is called the level bubble. And uh, this is called the level line, the horizontal portion that goes across. And this is the elevation of the level. If we click on one of these, you'll see that there's a check mark here. This is for the elevation bubble. If I turn that off, the bubble goes off. Turn it on, the bubble goes on. I highly recommend that you show the bubble. They're a standard representation of a level. So I like to keep those on. Uh, now let's go and we can see that we have a lock here. And when I click on the lock, I can unlock that level. So we can control whether that level gets moved or not. If I scroll over to the left side, you can see that here is my height in a temporary dimension of the of the in between the two levels. Here we have what's called the level uh, length control. Uh, over here, we have if we unlock these, I can grab onto these and I can change how long these levels are uh, controlled. And so I can click on this one down here and I can go and you'll see you'll build a temporary uh, tracking line to line those two up. So so I can make those uh, level uh, alignment controls as long as I like. So basically uh, we have the level name, the level uh, elevation of the level, we have the elevation bubble, the elevation line, uh, and we have the length controls over in the end when we click on them and we also have the temporary uh, dimension height is in here as well. If you change this, will, this will change the distance between the levels. So we can set this up. Notice that when I pick on a level it tells me the, the type, uh, the property type. So it's a level quarter inch head. So that means that this thing is going to be a quarter inch basically when I print this on the screen. So we can define that a little bit more if I want to go into edit type and change all them things I can change the properties of these things here uh, of how I want this represented if I want to change that and that will change it for all of my level heads uh, everywhere so that will change how these will look. These are pretty much the standard in the industry. Uh, not much, a whole lot to need to change them for the most part, except for some people like to change the size of the level bubble. Uh, that might be one thing you might change. Uh, sometimes the level names are a little bigger, uh, stand out a little more perhaps, but that's about it. Uh, so we have understanding level properties.